The great mediocrity arrives at midnight's digging. We therefore must endeavor to solve life's great questions in a timely manner. And just what are those great questions? They are the riddles that keep you awake at night and vex you upon your first stirrings in the morning. What is it all for? <laughs> what is it all about? You know, life and stuff. Yeah. Surely, you wizards can be more eloquent than that. I find that this evening's questions can be best summed up in a tale from my youth. As a young whippersnapper of five or six years, I recall playing with a small ball. I bounced it up and down on a patch of wooden floor in my apartment. Suddenly, a great angst came over me. As the ball bounced, I began to watch myself from above. The panopticon struck. I realized I would never know what it's like to be another soul living in this life, this lifetime. That I was trapped in the experience of my existence. A wave of unease turned in my stomach. I realized that only I knew what it was like to be me. That in this life, I could only ever look in a mirror and see me staring back at me. And that at the end of every day, I cease to be that day and age ever again. So swiftly passes the time. Up and down, I bounced up that ball. And indeed, I felt very much alone in this universe. And others were henceforth separate from me. I did not have the words to articulate this feeling. We have all had our moments with the small ball. From their bounces sprout the usual questions. Is there a being, a god? How can one ever know? Yet how can one ignore that feeling that a glorious sunset stirs in the soul? Yet if we listen to logic and historical text, we know that God is dead. So too man is dead. And with man and woman, wizard and referee, if we assist, if we cease to assist, so too the other. And so too the author. And so on and so forth and so on and so forth and so on and so forth. What does that mean? To live. To live an examined life. To live well. Do morals even matter in a corrupted atmosphere of bureaucracy and beauty contest? The questions fill me with fear and trembling. I fear, I tremble. I can't seem to fall asleep at night. Insomnia is the philosopher's ailment. The limit of language vexes me, so why say anything at all? I ask these questions not worth investigating, but is it still not worth trying?